And welcome one and all to the political cesspool. A little extended introduction this evening. I just felt led to play some Christmas music on AM 1380 WLRM Radio. I'm your host, James Edwards. Thank you for tuning in to the voice of the conservative right. The day may soon come when it's a hate crime to play the songs that we just aired on this program, but we're going to do our damnedest to ensure that it doesn't. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're here with a very special guest this evening, a man that certainly deserves but needs no introduction, one of our good friends, former representative from the state of Louisiana, Dr. David Duke, joining us all the way from Europe this evening to be with our audience live to talk about the war on Christmas and the egregious double standards being forced upon our people by the radical organizations such as the ADL. Dr. Duke, are you with us? Yes, I sure am. Sorry about the fact you couldn't reach me. I have no idea why the phones weren't working, but I guess we were a long way uh, a long way from the good old deep south of Memphis, <laughs> Tennessee. Well, you certainly are. <laughs> where, where actually are you uh, calling from this evening, my friend? Actually, northern Italy is where I'm pretty much based, but I'm doing a lot of lecturing in, in Central Europe right now. And, of, and of course, I do lecturing in a lot of Eastern European uh, universities, including my home base, which is uh, in Ukraine. So um, it's, it's, pretty, it's been pretty very, it's been a very interesting year, and uh, it's just amazing how many universities and how many professors around the European world are interested in the, in the issues that, well, the issues that I'm talking about and that you're talking about, really. Uh, it, it's whether you're talking about Memphis, Tennessee, or New Orleans, or Chicago, or Los Angeles, or New York, or whether you're talking about Toronto, Canada, or Melbourne, Australia, or, for that matter, Berlin, or Rome, or, or say, Kiev, Ukraine, or it's the same issue. The European people are losing our heritage. We're losing our freedoms in many, way, in many ways, and we're facing a massive uh, immigration, which will have a tremendous impact on our freedoms in turn and also our very existence as a people. And I believe very strongly, as you know, that we have a right to live, we have a right to exist, we have a right to have our children uh, be as, as we are in terms of our culture, traditions, faith, uh, everything that we hold dear. And in America, it's just amazing what's going on now. I mean, Christmas is one of the dearest and one of the most important traditions and beautiful traditions of European people, and it's fallen on the wayside with so-called multiculturalism and then actually a lot of anti-Christmas uh, uh, propaganda. The ADL, of course, is sponsoring this program they call the Christmas Dilemma. Yes, yes. And I, I can quote from the ADL where they're saying how that uh, we've got to figure out ways to uh, in the classroom and in America, not to mention Christmas. It's now it's got to be winter holidays and not to have the imagery simply of Europe, but the imagery of these other cultures around the world. It's just really amazing. We, we're not allowed to uh, preserve our own heritage in this country. And, of course, in Washington, D.C., uh, which really chaps me, is the fact we've got this huge uh, you know, ADL and all these radical Jewish organizations I worked for years to, uh, and they, they do it in fact every day. They go to court, uh, they support these programs, uh, they, they harass uh, malls, they harass city administrations, they harass state administrations, government, to make sure that there's no cross or no religious symbol of, of Christianity ever uh, placed on a public uh, place, on a public building. Uh, it's basically against the law not to have a cross, but now, Instead of a cross in front of, a, in front of the White House, we have a huge menorah, mm -hmm. which is an intrinsic symbol of uh, of, of Judaism. Well, and so we have we have a symbol of two percent of the American people, and we and uh, but the symbol of uh, eighty five percent of the American people, of course, is outlawed. It's just an incredible, uh, it's just an incredible hypocrisy that it's, it's happening right now in this country. We hear we hear about separation of church and state, and it's one of my supporters in Washington, D.C., who went out and picketed this menorah, uh, said in the sign very eloquently, she said, separation of, of synagogue and state. <laughs> and therein lies the, the great hypocrisy, and as you mentioned, the double standard. And we're going to be talking about all of this tonight, and I can't thank you enough for staying up. I realize it's just past 2 a.m. in the morning over there where you're stationed currently, and you're gracious enough to be with us. And before we begin to uh, talk about the, the problems and then hopefully prescribe some um, 
Uh, some antidotes to that. Uh, I would just like to begin by issuing uh, you the greetings and salutations that always uh, precede any David Duke appearance on the political cesspool. All of the staff, Winston Smith, Eddie Miller, Bill Rowland, Jeff Melton, want to uh, me to send you their regards. And I would also like to welcome all of those tuning in this evening from around the world to hear this interview tonight, including those from the ADL and the SPLC who are inevitably listening. And you know, David, you and I received uh, quite a bit of ink in a magnum opus from the SPLC a couple of months ago. I was quite proud of that. I don't know if you got a chance to read that or not. Yeah, I think I, I did take a look at that uh, a few <laughs> weeks ago, and it's just typical of the SPLC, and it's typical of all these so-called civil rights organizations who are trying to take away the civil rights of the European American. And uh, it's, just, it's just amazing, the hypocrisy. For instance, the, 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 the chief writer now for the SPLC is not even these, it's, it's Mark Potok, who is a radical, you know, Jewish supremacist, a Jewish uh, extremist, uh, who supports the state of Israel, and Israel, of course, is a nation that is entirely segregated mm -hmm. between Jews and non-Jews, they're even stealing the land of the Palestinian people, and uh, it's just it's just amazing that they're so interested in, in preserving uh, Jewish history, Jewish culture, uh, the Jewish nation, they're very conscious of being Jewish, and yet at the same time in America, we can't even preserve traditional American values and culture. The, the hypocrisy is amazing. Well, it is, and we're going to be talking about all that this evening. And uh, with that being said, and I know we're, I realize we're a little bit late getting into this, but, uh, you know, David, we look, and you've been on this show several times, and we've articulated this on a nightly basis for over three years. You've been covering these issues steadfastly for uh, a number of decades now, not to age you, but, uh, but you've been very effective and, and perhaps our people's most preeminent spokesman when it comes to the defense of our cultural heritage. But now of all times, this is a, a time of year that is very spiritual to many of our kinsmen. And you look around, and this is a time that is perhaps most sacred uh, of any month on the calendar. The time of Christmas is something that binds us together as a race. And, of course, Christianity has certainly been the, the faith of our ancestors predominantly. And you see these vicious and hateful attacks on something, the message of Christmas which couldn't be uh, a, a more peaceful or honorable message, and, and you see these vile dogs, that people such as the ADL, and you have documented it wonderfully on your website, and I encourage everyone to check it out, duke.org or davidduke.com. Check it out, because Dr. Duke, you have done a magnificent job of chronicling this quite extensively over the course of this month, uh, as the annual Christmas attacks have been in full force and we see now more than ever uh, with the ADL's December dilemma as you mentioned and these gross double standards where the ADL has literally gone on a campaign to rid the American public square of any uh, depiction of a cross or a nativity scene yet at the same time they can raise a menorah which is a sign of Jewish supremacism so high that it looks as though a crane had to be there for its assembly. Uh, does anyone besides us not take note of these flagrant Double standards? I think people must take note of it, but you see the people are afraid to take note of it in this country because, and that kind of shows you their power. And by the way, let's make it very clear, the ADL is a great defender and supporter of Israel. I mean, Israel is a nation that, that tortures thousands of Palestinian people who are born in their own country. And uh, Israel is occupying the West Bank.